Hello guys, so this video I'm gonna show you how I make my blanket with photos. So um, first thing that I do, I'm gonna measure because this is a 15 panels, so I'm gonna measure yung bawat panel niya so measure mo siya so 7 ang width and ang height is 10 so we usually put 7.5 para may extra siya kasi may border pa pag print mo and so at minsan it's not the same yung bawat panel the same ang measurement sa paggawa ng supplier so kailangan mong i-measure uh, at least uh, no system it mo lang so for me since it's 7.5 i'll just do it like 7.8 or sometimes i put it 8 in or 8 by 10 and sa gitna it's it's like uh ano uh, mahaba siya so big space ang sa gitna and i can't only print 13 by 19 sa printer ko so i have to divide it para magkasya kung anong gusto nila ilagay diyan sometimes gusto nila ilagay ng picture or a picture with message so i measure mo lang yung gitna for example 32 so usually ang ginagawa ko 32 ang ang uh, height niya ginagawa ko din divide ko siya ng 2 so bali 16 bawat ano kasi uh, print naman ako ng 13 by 19 so 16 ito naman siya ang width niya dito is 16 so i can only print 13 right so ginagawa ko ginagawa ko lang siyang uh, ginagawa ko siyang landscape para ma kasi o maano yung width niya yung ma okay pa yung width um space niya so yun ang ginagawa ko yun ang una kong ginagawa sa before ako mag print lista ko muna at write down the measurement at para hindi ka magkamali because once it's an expensive uh, kind of like blanket to mess up ma magkamali ka nito wala ka ng profit kata yung effort mo <laughs> so it's a it's a very nice blanket it's silky silky and like soft so and you can only puts a picture if it's uh, like this material is a hundred percent polyester so you know um, secret but it's a very it's very comfy when you especially when you're watching TV um, during winter so and you can save to wash because um, ang ayun niya ay iniinit eh. So, it's thick. It will not be removed. Huwag lang i-bleach. And, so, malaban will be useful for a long time. And, it's very uh, personalized. It's build your pictures and all your, anything you wanna say to anybody that you love. <laughs> But anyway, so that's how I do it and that's the measurement part of this project. And the next thing I'm gonna do is to uh, print the pictures. And this. So we're here now in my um, computer where this is where I uh, resize the pictures. So I'm using Inkspace 
to resize it so yeah once it's like resized and so i printed it out and i cut all the excess out of the paper just in case you have some ink that explode so you don't want to be you don't want that to be in your blanket the one the one that um like exploded ink so just to be safe just cut the rest of the paper that you don't need it you know like the extra so some um some customer they want uh four pictures of their like uh, family and some just one whole picture so this one if there's a four pictures i attach it all together just recite precise each picture and it depends sometimes you want it to put it in a corner of the blanket which is uh, you need to remember so same thing you just have to cut the excess part and sometimes because um you're doing uh, like uh, eight by ten sometimes there's some picture that's too close to the edge it's more challenging and this part so i'm doing since i'm doing uh the middle first and there's some uh, like the border size there's um, space so i just added some hearts or flowers just to have a little bit of design more you know just to look more better that it's depends it's up to you guys but that's how i look at it and customers they agree that this is how i do it so there's no problem you can do anything if customer says yeah it's okay do what makes what you think it's nice <laughs> so and i eat like hearts so you just have to arrange like um, maganda tingnan like you know just make sure my heart it's not reverse it's the, I, i'm doing it while it's heating up so it's, gotta be careful kasi maiinit it it's super hot so it's um i set up this for 400 degrees for 60 seconds so 400 degrees fahrenheit for 60 seconds so yeah, but just be careful that your skin will not be attached to the plate. And this is the hard this part of making a blank photo blanket. This this you have to do it under the heat press. Well because take a it's take time to to reach 400 degrees so uh yeah you can do it without heating up the heat press first but it's you know, like waste of time so i i just need to be careful to uh, waiting to reach 400 degrees that's where i put my design anything that i have to uh, need to be added so as i said earlier since i can't print 32 inches long i have to divide the message to half so this is so i did it for at least 15.5 so there's kind of like a border so a half inch border for this blanket and so i'm still cutting some flowers and hearts <coughs> so you just have to like estimate the size of the flowers i didn't measure it so i usually just print flowers 
especially if I make uh, like a order that it, um, there's still a lot of space on the paper so instead of wasting the, pap the other um, the paper so I just kind of use the space to print flowers or hearts because usually if I'm doing blanket um, flowers is kind of nice a nice um to make a border of the you know, like, like what I'm doing right now. And so I'm using parchment paper. Parchment paper there um to use it to like a blow out paper. So because once you put the you know the heat press down that's where it release the ink and call it the gas and ink and then it is like kind of like it's expand explode so you need something to cover it so it will not be transferred to your other uh, space of the blanket that you don't want to okay, and so this you need those space for your pictures you don't want stain from 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 this one so i just have to adjust the pressure it's it's too tight so just waiting to reach to 400 degrees so this heat press it's like taking a while to heat up but it's a good heat press and at least it's const um his uh its heat is constant it's not like the other one that we had before um, it just costs uh, takes a lot of power too it usually uh trip or breaker that's why i only use um heat press and remove all the like any appliances or any chargers that tug into our uh, outlet i gotta remove it it's just for the i'm using heat press because it will um it will turn off our lights oh yeah or our breaker so we're just waiting for this to reach 400 degrees Celsius, uh, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and um, while I'm waiting, I'll have to do another stuff. some tape for that um, hearts and flowers that I did I put earlier just to make sure it's not gonna um, fall
you can see it's 400 it for 60 seconds so let's get a wait for 60 seconds to run out Dinesha, so it's done 60 seconds is done. so just have to wait because still hot I usually use gloves but it's just uh, you know, like comfortable to use this yeah I'm using it now but the other hand I don't use it just be careful it's super duper hot I burn my hands so many times Good thing I have uh, like a, I know someone that they use a uh, vinegar to which just you burn your hand and so there's no blister so I use vinegar so this one so this is the part where I put the message so and this is all the hearts let's see let's see so you can see that the ink was transferred so this is a personalized message and just very very careful it's super hot so I'm just removing and then then yeah just removes you so i'm doing the half of the message like half of continuation of this message and it's really hot the blanket and especially it's silky it takes a while dangerous dangerous job but so far it's um, so far so good look that we can read the message and it I didn't put it in the verse so <laughs> that's good sign I usually do the middle one just in case I mess up so I don't have to do the rest mm, yeah what I'm doing right now is just to continue that half of that message so I cut the rest of the excess paper It's kind of like still um, like over, so and then make sure that it's it's kind of continue to that message because or else it's you know it's uh, not straight and not nice to do that. So it's really hard to do this way, especially it's the heat press hot. But this is the only way I know that um, that it turn out good. Because if you do it on the floor and we put tape on it, it's more. I think it's more harder. So we just have to be careful not to touch the heat press so we go make sure it's aligned make sure that the message is not a reverse make sure it's the right continuation of the message yeah always double check triple check just want to make sure because oh my once you make a mistake with this one and yeah bye bye no more can't reuse it you can sell it it's just you can just use it for your own like your blanket <laughs> uh, 
But anyway, so just put the tape and oh, I do the rest of the flowers and hearts. And it's like you're playing. You just have to create something like you know that if there's some space and customers want more like design and you make this blanket more nicer so anyway so uh, i'm done with that message i didn't take a video but yet so i'm doing now the um, panel where i put the picture so this request will actually like um, uh, two panels can uh, I can do it one, uh, two panels at a time, so two pictures at a time. It's the same thing, you have to put parchment paper, and this is a teflon paper, a teflon sheet. So, just make sure your teflon, there's no ink, so it's, it's an expensive, oh, it's expensive kind of to buy. Because if you have ink there, it will be transferred to your next project. So just that's why I put parchment paper as well. So to put the picture, just make sure also double check, triple check that um, it's aligned to that message. Like you know, you don't put the reverse. So. Because uh, I know someone that uh, they put all the pictures and then for the last minute and then the last one was she put it in reverse. So uh, good thing the customer was just so it's okay. It's just a picture of the dog. It's kind of like funny when anyway that the dog was going to reverse position. Yeah. Is if you made a mistake and the customer will not accept it's kind of like your effort and all the materials that you use to make this it's it's um frustrating and you know <coughs> it's uh sublimation is already an expensive um like business to start up because you have to buy the materials in it's not the cheap materials that you in in especially your beginners you i wasted a lot of materials i wasted a lot in you know but that's how you learn right you gotta spend money to earn money get us uh make a mistake to learn and to gain knowledge so here we go so this is my first let's see how it looked like so this is the four pictures so I, as you can see it transferred really really good so i don't i don't use a glove yeah, it's so hard to use with gloves, but you just have to be careful. And then, yeah, actually, this there you go. I did everything it's just cause the same process, right? 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 seconds. So. I went to landscape when taking a video of this, but anyway, so that's, this is how you do it. Super nice. And this is her second order. First one was uh, her daughter's birthday and second, this one is for her eldest daughter. So, 
it's really good. I can't read the message. Anyway, guys, that's how you do it. You just have to have patience to do it. And present and presence of mind. There we go. Uh, I thought I so far very good. So thank you guys.